Typical Colors 2 is a game of a lot of choices. What class are you going to play? What maps are you going to play? What game modes are you going to play? It all battles down to choice. One of the biggest things that require choice in TC2 is the weapon pool. Most classes in the game have a decent weapon pool, except meta. But Scout is probably one of those classes that has really bad weapons besides stock. I rarely see myself using any other weapon besides lever shotgun for whenever I play Scout. Just because all of the other ones just feel useless, like they have no purpose. So let me use them for a funny video. As I said before, stock is primarily used by extremely sweaty scouts that literally are sweating their nutsack off, doing double jumps off of the wall, trying to get that sweet, sweet kill off their poor, defenseless NG that has no items or hats and is level 0 on the leaderboard. I can't really say anything about it besides stereotypes, since the weapon isn't really that different at all. In fact, it isn't different, it's just stock, it does damage. It's a shotgun, not much to say. The specialist is kind of weird. Like, a year or two ago, you, you had people like Willow that were complaining about this weapon because, well, they had the right to complain. This weapon was f f really bad. Though it has since been improved and feels decent, I guess. I pretty much never used the specialist, even before Rehaul 2, before that update came out. That literally crapped up all the weapons. Literally for Medic, they literally removed all of the autos. Babyface Blaster is kind of a hit or miss weapon. If you hit your shots, cool, you'll be going sonic speed like Sonic Movie 2, but if you miss your shots and get shot, then you'll suffer immensely. Babyface makes absolutely no sense since you gain boost by doing damage, but you lose boost by not doing damage. So how does that even make sense at all? The Lupra is just complete dog crap, honestly. Pretty much 90% of the time you'll be using this weapon, you'll have to reload. No, here's a realistic simulation of people using the Lupra. Hold on, I gotta reload. 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 I distinctively remember this weapon actually being pretty decent. It mini cuts on the back, meaning that if you have like some dumbass NG in on the back on the enemy team you can just spray at their back and they should die pretty quickly and even if you crit them and they look behind you to try and get the kill you could still probably finish them off from the damage your mini crit got especially if you're going against a kunai spy that are just giant weak the shortstop is only good if you're using the bloxy cola or if you're playing boss mode or if you have crits this weapon just makes absolutely no free goddamn sense. Again, same thing with the Lupra. Hold on, I gotta reload. Hold on, I gotta reload! Ah, the shotgun cannon. The classic Johnny Boblox weapon. To gain ammo on this weapon, you have to hold down your left click, and then it'll load three shots into the magazine. And then after that, if you let go of left click, it'll just spray for no reason, and you start out with zero shots. And if you miss, you'll just die to a sweaty Lupra spy? What? There's no purpose to even using this weapon. It's literally just a stalker's gun. So, let's just end it here.